Question 22. A frustrum is made by removing a small cone from a similar large cone. The height of the small cone is 20 centimetres. The height of the large cone is 40 centimetres. The diameter of the base of the large cone is 30 centimetres. Work out the volume of the frustrum, giving your answer correct to three significant figures. So to work out the volume of the frustrum, we need to have the volume of the larger cone and the volume of the smaller cone. And you're given a formula for volume of a cone in the front of your exam papers, given as one third pi r squared multiplied by a height. So we can easily work out the volume of the larger cone. Just by substituting in the values into this formula. So we have one third multiplied by pi multiplied by the radius squared. Now the diameter we're told is 30, so the radius is 15 squared, and the height of the whole cone is 40. So if we just put this into our calculators, we have pi multiplied by 15 squared multiplied by 40 divided by 3 gives us a volume of 9,424.778 centimetres cubed. Now the smaller cone poses a slight problem because we don't know what the radius of the bottom of the cone would be, or the top of the frustrum in this case. But we are told that the two cones are similar. And that means that we have a scale factor. The height of the smaller cone is half of the larger cone, which means that the radius is also going to be half of the larger cone. So for our smaller cone, we can use exactly the same rule, one third multiplied by pi multiplied by our radius. Now the radius here is going to be a half of it was previously, so if the diameter is 15, the radius will be 7.5. So 7.5 squared multiplied by the height, which is 20, giving us a new volume of pi times 7.5 squared multiplied by 20, divide that by 3, so that becomes 1178.097 centimetres cubed. So to find the volume of the frustrum, we just need to take that sec, the smaller cone, away from the larger cone. So we have 9424.778, take away 1178.097. And this we have to do to three significant figures. So let's see what value we get first. 424.778, subtract 1178.097. Zero nine seven equals eight two four six point six eight one. So to three significant figures, we can round it off after the third number. So we have eight two four, but because the number after the line is bigger than five, this is going to get rounded up. So we'll have eight two five and then the other number is set to zero, giving 8,250 centimetres cubed.